You are four days away. Give us an inside scoop. I think I'm gonna get really cold. <laughs> it's like two nerd forces coming together. We've got science nerds who are super excited about studying the environment. We've got engineering nerds who are really excited about building new hardware. And taking this expertise and this technology up into the Arctic and operating it in this just environment that wants to kill you. There's no electricity, no internet, no phones, nothing. They wanted to figure out when the ice would freeze. And the longer it took for the ice to freeze, the longer those polar bears would starve. Clearly an issue. No one has ever done it before. And what we're doing is really going to provide exceptional value to the zoo researchers. It really puts it in perspective. The places like this are few and far between in the world, and uh, our work is here to protect it. So we really want to see what's happening on a very fine scale in this habitat to help zoo researchers make critical decisions on the species, but also help you know determine what's going to happen in the future with not only how it affects polar bears, but for how it affects humanity and the planet.